Infantino were big believers in baby wearing because it keeps mom and baby close and connected, letting you share life's little adventures, moments, and smiles together. While each of our carriers has been made with some serious smarts, mom-inspired insights, durable fabrics, and plenty of style, we made our new support carrier with a great ergonomic design that's tailor-made for all-day use. Soft, breathable materials and cushioned straps allow you to carry with ease, and the natural seat perfectly distributes baby's weight. The resulting fit keeps baby cozily close and snuggled against you in just the right spot. Here's a look at how our support carrier works, starting with some of its unique design features. Here are the padded shoulder straps and the tighteners, the head support to keep baby cradled, the patterned lining, the leg straps and tighteners, the tidy loops, the chest and back strap, and the lumbar belt. The support has both front and back carrying options, but we always recommend starting off with younger babies in the front carry position until you get comfortable with the carrier. Here's a quick walkthrough, starting with the technique for infants using the facing in position. Start out with the carrier hanging down in front of you. Flip the lumbar belt and then fasten around your natural waist. You'll hear a click when the buckle is secure. Next, you'll tighten the lumbar belt by pulling on the strap until the carrier fits snugly around your waist. Now lift baby up, facing toward you, and place them high up on your chest. Your baby's legs will be naturally open with a comfortable bend at the knees. Okay, now while holding baby securely with your right hand, Slip the shoulder strap onto your left shoulder, then switch hands and repeat with the other shoulder strap. Again, remember, before you let go of your baby, make sure the shoulder straps are securely in place. Once the straps are secure on your shoulders, reach over your shoulders and attach the chest back strap to connect the two shoulder straps together. You'll hear a click when they're secure, then pull to tighten. If you have a hard time reaching the buckle, ask for assistance. Make sure that the shoulder straps are securely in place before you let go of baby. Now bring baby close against your body and tighten the shoulder straps by pulling on the tighteners. Fit baby securely in the carrier by adjusting the webbing on the leg strap. Pull forward on the head support tighteners if you need to adjust the fit. Finally, roll up any extra strap ends and tuck them in with the elastic tidy loop to keep the carrier neat and fuss free. Remember, baby's head should be turned to one side to ensure they can breathe comfortably. Once your little one is past infancy and can hold his or her head up well, you can carry them like this. Start out with the carrier hanging down in front of you. Flip the lumbar belt and then fasten around your natural waist. You'll hear a click when the buckle is secure. Next, you'll tighten the lumbar belt by pulling on the strap until the carrier fits snugly around your waist. Next, hold baby facing toward your body, at your natural waist. Make sure baby's legs wrap comfortably around your waist, and keep one hand on the baby until all buckles and straps are properly fastened. Now, while holding baby securely with your right hand, slip the shoulder strap onto your left shoulder. Make sure baby's legs are completely through the leg holes and the leg straps are above baby's legs. 
Now switch hands and repeat with the other shoulder strap. Once the straps are secure on your shoulders, reach over your shoulders and attach the chest back strap to connect the two shoulder straps together. If you have any trouble, ask someone for assistance. Now bring baby right up against your body, making sure to support their head and adjust the shoulder straps by pulling on the shoulder strap tighteners until they're snug. Okay, now you're ready to fit baby in the carrier by adjusting the webbing on the leg straps and getting them snug and secure. Then pull forward on the shoulder straps to adjust the carrier for your fit. Finally, roll up any extra strap ends and tuck them in with the elastic tidy loop. When it's time to remove baby from the facing in position, make sure that at least one hand is on baby at all times. First, reach over your shoulders and unbuckle the chest back strap. Make sure to hold baby securely with your left hand as you remove the right shoulder strap. Switch hands in order to remove the left shoulder strap. Be sure to never let go of baby at any point in this process. Once the shoulder straps are removed, gently slide baby out of the front of the carrier. Place him or her in a secure location. Finally, unbuckle the lumbar support belt and remove the carrier completely. Once your baby can sit up on their own, you can try the back carry position for even more carrying flexibility. Just make sure you have a helping hand to get baby loaded. First, pick up your carrier by the lumbar belt, flip the belt, and place it on your back at your natural waist. The carrier body should be hanging behind you. Now fasten the buckle on the front of your body. You'll hear a click when it's secure. For this step, have a second person carefully place your child on your back, piggyback style. Your little one's legs should fit right through the leg holes and wrap around your waist. Their arms should be resting right on your shoulders. The leg straps should be above the child's legs. While your helper is supporting your child, put your arms through the shoulder straps, one strap at a time, just like this. It's helpful to lean forward slightly to help keep your child in a high position on your back. With the second person still supporting your child, buckle the chest back strap and adjust it to a comfortable position. Now, tighten the shoulder strap tighteners to nestle your child in nice and close to your body. Adjust in and out to find the most comfortable position for both of you. Then adjust the webbing on the leg straps to fit your child's legs snugly in the leg holes. Pull backwards on the shoulder straps and adjust until you find the perfect fit. Now you should have your child secure and your helper can relax their support of the child. Now for removing baby from the back carry position. Have a helper support the child while you unfasten the buckles on the chest back strap. As they begin to lift the child out of the carrier, you can remove both of the shoulder straps and remove the child's legs from the leg holes. You may need to loosen the leg hole straps to get them all of the way out. Finally, unbuckle the lumbar support and remove the carrier completely. This video is not a substitute for the product instruction manual. If you've purchased this carrier, read and review the entire product manual before using this carrier. The product instruction manual contains important warnings and instructions for use that are not covered in this video.